Hello everyone and welcome back to the garden. Here we're taking a big look at the entire backyard. Well, as best as I can get. Sometimes this backyard is a little hard to film without a, a really wide angle lens. Anyway, I thought we would do a garden update. Take a quick look around. You can see our tulips are up and they are finally starting to bloom, which is very, very exciting. Some of the early ones have already opened up and we have some of the later ones already forming these nice big buds that are going to be gorgeous can't wait also some wild muscari poked up in the garden this year i didn't plant that um also wanted to check in on richard simmons chia pet looking good richard simmons chia pet it's been about a week and a half now and uh some of those seeds are starting to germinate very very exciting However, the germination is a little bit uneven, so I'm kind of worried about how thick and voluminous his hair is going to be. I'm doing my best to keep him growing well. We shall have to wait and see. The sides are coming in really, really nicely, but just that top is a little bit problematic. I don't know if you have any tips or experience with Chia Pets, let me know down in the comments. Also here in the garden, are grafted trees taking a look at all of these potted plants the grafted trees most of them are looking pretty good uh, a lot of them are actually already kind of showing signs of life in the graft the grafted scion bud part um this peach root stock is really growing crazy though i'm gonna have to do something about this peach root stock other places in the garden other flower beds we have our anemone bed which is uh looking kind of rough and rowdy I guess. I planted a very small anemone bed last fall simply because just anemones are so much earlier than everything else and it's hard to kind of keep on top of them in terms of picking for me personally. I love the color. I love how vibrant they are. They're so bright and I love how early in the season they begin to bloom but um, something about them is just always a little bit difficult for me to grow so I'm not even sure if I'm going to continue growing anemones in the future. But for now, I'm just going to enjoy them. Also in the garden, uh, the main attraction here in my yard right now are the daffodils. As you recall, last year I planted all kinds of, well, year before last year, I planted all kinds of quote-unquote fancy varieties of daffodils. And then last season, I added even a few more different daffodil types to my ever-growing collection of them. So um, it was very, it's very exciting to see all of those kind of coming together. You can see I have a lot of double types and split corona types and a lot of these pink types that I really, really like, like a variety called Sunny Girlfriend and of course a variety called Apricot Whirl. That is the variety you're seeing here. These are insanely gorgeous. This is my first year growing Apricot Whirl and I was not, let's, I was not disappointed these things are so ruffly and full and the flowers are enormous and there's just a beautiful shade of this delicious looking creamy peachy pink color. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. Um, when they start opening up, they're kind of a shade of yellow orange and then over time as they open up within about a day or two, they fade to this stunning pink color. And I think, hands down, I think this might be one of my absolute favorite, um, my favorite daffodils. It's a, it's a tie between this daffodil and the flower surprise daffodil, which I'm sure you'll see a little bit later when it comes into bloom. It's not blooming yet. Um, but just been picking handfuls of these gorgeous daffodils uh, here in the front. That light one is called Ice King. And the brighter yellow one in the back is the Art Design daffodil. Just a really stunning collection of these creamy just pastel spring tones that just look so great when you combine them together in flower arrangements. So of course I had to pick some for a vase. The tulips that I'm using in this video these are the avant-garde tulips. They are a creamy yellow color and there's a little bit of kind of pink flecking in there. They are a very early uh, double tulip. Since they are so early the stems are a little bit shorter uh, but still very much usable and you can see they blend so well with those other creamy pastel colors of the Martha Stewart daffodil, the coral charm daffodil is in there as well as um, those apricot whorls daffodils that I was talking about just a second ago. 
absolutely love this color combination. I'm so excited to make more flower arrangements for spring. That's really about it for this video. I hope that it was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this quick little tour around the garden, little update. Um, let me know all about uh, your garden. How's it going? Anything in bloom? Any varieties I should try? New varieties I should know about? Uh, as always, you're welcome to leave comments down below. I do try to answer those. Uh, sometimes it takes a while just depending upon how busy I am with work and everything else. As always, I am so incredibly appreciative of you. Thank you so much for watching. It really does mean a lot. And uh, I couldn't do this without you, so thank you. I hope that you are having such an incredible day, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.